Hey guys, Adam and Andrew back today along with special guest Carter and uh, we're working on the 4.2 again. This is episode 3 and uh, I'll give you a sneak peek. Uh, Andrew's down there. We're working on the bell housing bolts and uh, to get them we're uh, jacked up at the oil pan here and we removed the sway bar to get to the bolts. So the uh, the bolts are back there and to get some more room in between the subframe we uh, we jacked up the engine. And the sway bar is coming back here so you couldn't get a socket in there. Yeah so with the sway bar gone it's much easier to get the uh, the ratchet and extender in there. Somehow the sway bar only took about five minutes to take out. Highly recommended. Alright, so we've given up on the bell housing bolts. They're and impossible to get to. Yes, so we've switched to uh, disconnecting the axles from the differential and we got the driver's side. And now we're moving on to the passenger side. And then we just have to undo the uh, drive shaft. Yeah. Hopefully and we can pull the transmission differential and engine at the same time. Yeah, so this should be much easier. So. Right back here there's six bolts and we're using this set up here to get them out. It's a triple square head, 10 millimeter. Yes, what base. he said. So we're gonna go breaking those six loose now. All right guys, so we did end up getting this axle out and what we did Andrew just held the breaker bar while I was in there with the uh, the Pittsburgh and then this end and then I just used the earthquake to get them out real quick. So now we're going to have to move on to the drive uh, train. Are you sure all six bolts are out? Yes. It really said it should fall on here. There we go. All right, we've uh, failed to get the drive shaft, or apparently Audi calls it the prop shaft. And uh, so we're just gonna try to pull the motor with that in. And if you take notice, there's that little guy right there and our ratchet strap here. Andrew will now demonstrate what we're gonna do. Seems a little sketchy. So we're gonna have one there. I've got one wrapped around the bottom behind the oil pan, and then there's another one of those back there somewhere. Right here. Oh, yep. Right. Obviously, there. by another hose. So we're gonna have to disconnect that hose. We just disconnected this one to get to that one, and uh, hopefully the engine can move. This is the ratchet strap quality setup here. So this one here is kind of acting as the safety in case one of these two go wrong, but uh, this is this is the setup here. We've got the Pittsburgh just on the shortest setting because we don't need a uh, we don't need it very far forward, unlike the Mustang, and that way we'll be able to swing this turn easier, hopefully. So we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, update time here. We've done a couple things. I removed this from the power steering pump with the impact. And we've since now dropped the subframe. So everything's quite a bit lower. And as you can see, the exhaust won't be catching anymore. That's all dropped almost to the floor. And uh, the other thing I did, I cut the line that goes to the uh, the transmission because we didn't really know how to disconnect it and if you can't remember this has a bad transmission so it's of no use to us oh my god he's uh, moving the engine quite a bit so we're getting pretty close here I'll uh, continue to update you as always so quick update I am jacking up the back of the engine from the transmission pan and that's going to get us more level so we can get the motor out easier. All right, I'm going to continue to go up.
Oh, that's the engine ground. Oh. Okay, so the engine ground is this running down this? there. Yes. Actually, oh, that, that can just pull out of here, I think. Well, there's some battery terminal crap. But I, not, oh, there's a big grommet thing. We might be able to yeah. pry out, and then everything will fit. And we might just cut this end off, and it'll, it'll come out. Yeah. Well, as you would suspect, we uh, just cut it, because that's what we usually do on this channel. Okay, update. We have the front tires back on. We're going to see what happens when you put this back on the ground. We're going to try to roll it back so we can keep pulling the engine out. Oh, let's lower the crane. So uh, we literally just rolled the car back and we've moved the chassis away from the engine and lo and behold we're still dragging the transmission and uh, drive shaft and the differential so we're just going to roll the whole car out of here I think. Yeah we might have to move some things in the driveway <laughs> but uh, the engine She's should be almost out. out. Almost. Well out. it's free from the car we just have to get the car yeah. away from it. Well, we have officially done it. I'd consider this free from the car. Uh, the drivetrain is still on. <laughs> We're slightly still caught in the subframe, but we'll just end up rolling this back out into the driveway. But other than that, I think we have uh, finished this here. Just give it a big whack. Oh my god. <laughs> well, the drive shaft's off. All right, YouTube community. We have officially done it the a6 is out of the garage we sketchily limped it out and uh, the 4.2 is out so now we gotta take a few more things off of this and it'll be a way for scrap that's gonna conclude today's video thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time